everybody welcome back i appreciate it so today we're going to be building as part four of a living room set that i built for a friend of mine now if you guys have seen that little series you'll know that in there i said i was only building three pieces for him but turns out he changed his couch downstairs and now he can't reach the coffee table in his new arrangement and he's got a gap now between the couch and the wall so he needs some place to put a frosty beverage so we're going to stick that little hole with an end table so Today, I'm going to be building that table. Now, I've got my legs and my skirting board already rough cut. Now, they're cut a little bit long, a little bit heavy, and we're going to cut them all down to the final length. Now, I'm going to be building this to match all of the other pieces that I've already got down there. So, if you guys want to incorporate any, none, all of the design tweaks that I've got into that, it's entirely up to you. And of course, the dimensions are always adjustable. So, like I said, I've got these cut a little bit heavy right now. I'm going to flush them all up on the end cut them all to the exact same length all at once. That way I know that they're all the same size. Let's get started. Okay guys, now that we have all our skirting boards cut to length, what we're gonna do is drill two pocket holes in each end of all of our skirting boards. Doesn't matter if you have a big jig or a small jig or whatever kind of pocket hole jig you have, just get the holes drilled and you'll be good. Now you guys just see me cut out my shelf. Now this is nothing more than just a scrap piece of three quarter inch birch plywood I had kicking around. Now the way I got the dimensions for it, super simple. I want my shelf to be inset on my legs the exact same uh, three eighths as my skirting boards are. So I literally just grabbed my measurement from my skirting both directions that gave me the size of the shelf. Now obviously I have to notch all my corners so my shelf can fit inside of the legs and there's two ways you can measure for that. The first way to measure for it, I've taken the same 3 8 spacer that I had and the exact same material my skirting board's made out of, put them together, and I literally just hold them into the corner and that gives me the space that I need in order to make my mark. Then I did the same this direction, made a mark. Now the second way is we can take the frame, flush it up in all directions with our skirting board. And once you're flush, then you can just take a pencil make a mark on all the inside corners and that'll give you your measurement to cut out as well. Now to cut out all my corners on my shelf here, I'm just gonna use my jigsaw. You guys can use whatever saw you have available to you. That'll get the job done. After that, I'm going to take and put a pocket hole on each side of every corner and that way it'll be able to fit up and I'll be able to suck it down and snug it up tight in between the legs. Speaking of my legs, you guys may remember when I built my other pieces for my friend there, I had a 45 degree chamfer on all the legs. So what I did was I measured down three and a half inches, up three and a half inches, and I made a little pencil mark, got my 45 degree chamfer bit loaded up in my router, and then I'm just gonna take and route all that out between the marks. And that'll give me my uh, beveled edge. And then on my shelf, what I'm going to do just to finish off the plywood edges, I'm just gonna use iron on edge banding. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and it looks good too.
Okay guys, so now to catch up on the whirlwind that you just saw, the piece is mostly done right now. Now you saw me put on some stains. So this is an espresso stain and I got three coats of a water-based clear on here. Uh, I sanded before the last coat just to give it a smoother finish. Now, the top itself, you see me make the top and cut it down. This is nothing more than just a pine project panel. You can find these anywhere and just cut it down to the exact size. Um, this one I think was like 12 inches wide. Then I cut it down to my size that I needed. Now for my top, I've got a half inch overhang uh, on every side. So basically my top is one inch wider in all directions than my base frame. And then on the bottom of the top, I've got a 45 degree uh, chamfer bit or ch chamfer that I took and uh, routed in with my router. And I've got a one eighth inch round over all the way around the top. Now that'll just match all the other pieces that I built for them along with the router uh, chamfer in the legs. If you guys want to as well, you can make the shelf out of the uh, project panel. Don't think it has to be plywood. I just happen to have a lot of plywood and a lot of edge banding around, so that's just the way I made it. Um, but you can do both with the paneling. It's entirely up to you. Now, for the to finish off uh, the piece, I've got these little thick felt pads that I'm going to attach to the bottom. And to attach my top, I've got these tiny little corner brackets. Nothing fancy. You can find these anywhere. And I'm just going to put them on the inside corner uh, on every side. And I've got small little half inch screws as well. And I'm going to attach those. Now the screws have a little bit of play inside of the hole. And that will let the top expand and contract as it wants to without it binding. Um, and I'm going to attach them on these sides so the top can move this direction. Because that's the way the wood's going to go. It's not going to, it's not going to extend its length. Uh, it's going to expand and contract on its width. So I'm going to attach them on the insides. But... Other than that, that's all we got left. Well, there you guys go a super simple table design that I'm sure anybody can make and this is a great starter project if you guys are just kind of dipping your toes into it and getting started but again it might also uh, in, I hope it inspired you to try something new and get out there and make something for yourself you don't have to stick with what's in store you can build something for an oddball shape you might have around your house so thanks very much for watching you guys I really appreciate it if you guys like this video, let me know and uh, share it around to somebody that might need it. That would be awesome and much appreciated. But thanks so much and we'll see you guys in the next one.